yummy. I'm here for Pilates today with Joan, Suvins, and Pyeol. It seems I'm the first one here. So I totally forgot to film us exercising at Pilates, uh, but now I'm back home and I want to have another meal from Sprout, of course. Uh, this is the burger bowl and it has soy meat. The dressing looks really good though. So it's already day 15. Two weeks since I started this challenge and we've come a long way. Two weeks. I'm proud of myself for not giving up. At Rainio, eating my dinner, a chocolate almond milk, sweet potato, and cold cannon, which is like an Irish style mashed potato. I'm excited for this mashed potato. Ah, On my way to another deep flow yoga class, it's 9.50. I'm gonna make me some summer rolls for once. I was really craving summer rolls because I was talking to my friend Diana and she just said she had summer rolls. So I was like, okay, I need to make myself some. Bought a carrot, cucumber, uh, pepper, and some hard tofu to fry and put into the summer roll. So I'm gonna make my sauce for the tofu. I'm gonna use the rice oligo syrup or cornstarch kind of thing and sesame oil. Let me tell you something. Lately I've been wondering if you could be my forever. See you was like God, he must be up to something. No, you tired of running. Let's just stay together. Well, this looks pretty bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's give it a try. I tried making peanut butter sauce, but it turned out funky after I added water. I don't know. I thought it was going to make it like runnier, but it just ended up getting harder. I'm so hungry. I did not care about the visuals. I wish I could have put some more veggies in it. It's so healthy. Oh my god, I totally forgot to put avocados in. I bought avocados before. <sighs> Tastes very healthy. I like it because the flavors aren't too strong. Oh, I could have put vermicelli noodles in it, but I thought that would just be too much carb, so I didn't put it in. I'm eating my first meal kind of late today. It's almost two. But anyways, it is day 16 and if you ask me what I'm craving the most, I want to say eggs because I've been craving eggs so much. I can't live without eggs. I just love eggs so much. All clear. That was delish and really healthy. But I think I'm going to be hungry after like an hour, but it was still good. I can't get crushed You've been let down so many times You wonder if you need to get up You done been through too much But I ain't trying to mess this up <laughs> Let's get away Eating cherries as soon as I got home from radio Didn't even change I'm starving So there are three hottest days in the lunar calendar And today was the first one of them Which is called Chobok And that's the day everyone eats chicken To nourish the body And to get the body ready for the summer heat And everyone around me was eating chicken today And I was just so sad Because I couldn't have any I have garlic hummus from Sprout that I got And it's so good But I have nothing to dip it in right now So... I can't eat it. I'm literally looking up things to dip in hummus. Pretzels, crackers, pita crisps, fruits, apple slices go well with hummus. Raw veggies. Oh, I could do raw veggies. Ooh, I should do carrots with hummus right now. That's a good idea because I'm still kind of hungry. So this garlic hummus from Sprout is so good. I'm obsessed. All right, done with my snack. I gotta stop now or else it's gonna be uncontrollable. Time to get ready and sleep. See you tomorrow morning.
Good morning, guys. For breakfast today, I'm gonna make myself a blueberry and banana smoothie. I just realized that I don't have plain coconut or oat milk, so I'm gonna put chocolate almond milk. Well, that tastes weird. Blueberry and chocolate. I know banana and chocolate will be fine, but blueberry and chocolate... Whatever, let's just try it. Mmm! Kind of tastes like protein shake, I think, because of the chocolate milk I put in. Yummy! So for lunch today, I'm finally gonna have some rice. And I'm just going to be putting uh, avocado, tofu, and some vegetables on top with soy sauce and sesame oil. I had an over easy egg on top of this that would be perfection oh this is a lot I need more soy sauce it tastes very very healthy For dessert, I am finally having ice cream. I found some vegan ice cream from Naturu and it's the cashew vanilla flavored. Yes! And I'm gonna have it with some black coffee. I love having cold ice cream with hot coffee, so that's what I'm gonna be eating for dessert. Having the drunken noodles again from Sprout. For breakfast, I'm having the blueberry banana smoothie again. It was just so delicious yesterday and it's quick and easy and I have to get ready really quick so this will be my breakfast for today. And also I'm gonna be going on like a mini road trip with my friend and her husband today. So I gotta find some vegan places in Paju. So my friend is taking a bit longer than expected uh, to come pick me up. So I'm going to have some snack. So last week when I went to the bar with the girls, we ordered a dish that had uni and avocado and seaweed. I just ate the avocado with the seaweed and dipped it in soy sauce of course, but then the avocado tasted like tuna sashimi. So I was like, this is so good i gotta make it for myself at home so i bought some avocados yesterday and i bought some regular seaweed and i'm about to have it as snack yeah i didn't cut the avocados too nicely but all you have to do is wrap the avocado in seaweed and dip it in the soy sauce mm. if i close my eyes Need it? Tastes like tuna. Mm. So good. Wow. I think I could have this every day. I'm not even kidding. Yay, we're here! Oh, it's so delicious. They also sell a lot of vegan and healthy organic food here as well. The vegetarian ramen. See our pizza being made in there. They have reusable tissues as well. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yes, our roasted vegetable salad. Ooh, blueberry donut. Mm -hmm. Hemp seeds. Completely vegan. Mmm. 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 Sparkling lemon juice from San Pellegrino. So the vegan place we were originally gonna go to was closed, so I came to another Italian spot and I'm just gonna get a salad. But they only have a feta cheese salad, so I'm, I just asked them to give me the cheese separately. and I'm about to just put all the vegetables from the fridge into a pan because I want to use them up before they go bad. So I have carrots, bell pepper, broccoli, onion, mushroom, and bok choy. This is very, very colorful. It just smells so good. Here is my sauteed vegetable. Oh yeah, I sprinkled some sesame seed on top too. Good morning guys! I was supposed to go to my 10 a.m. yoga class but... Couldn't wake up and I'm gonna blame the weather because it's rainy and gloomy as hell outside so... Maybe that was the reason why. Yesterday night before I fell asleep, I was super excited to go to class but... Anyways, I'm really hungry so I'm going to try making banana pancakes because as you can tell my bananas have browned a lot and I want to eat them before it gets too bad and I also bought some flour I really wanted to buy like whole wheat flour or oat flour but they didn't have regular flour was the only kind they had I don't have baking powder or vanilla extract so Hopefully, this will be okay. When you were younger, you didn't see things quite the same as you do now. But now you're old. Whatever, I'm just gonna do it my way. I don't know. You wish you had stayed a clown, never ever knowing. It looks a little runny, but whatever. Whatever. I don't know. Just wing it. <laughs> Coconut oil. Why do they look like hash browns though? Oh, so soft. Maybe I put in too many bananas. actually really good chocolate banana pancake kind of just tastes like I am eating mashed banana <laughs> for lunch I'm having spring rolls again because I just really wanted to have it with avocado this time I just skipped out on the tofu because I was too lazy to cook it on the frying pan and then for four of them I covered it in seaweed kind of sounds like a weird combo but I don't know. I just thought I should experiment and see how it tastes. Anyways, I'm gonna have the normal one first. Mm. Alright, now trying the seaweed summer roll. Wow, this is better than I expected. Why don't people actually make this? I think it would be good with um, without the rice paper and just vegetables wrapped in seaweed. But the rice paper gives it like more of a chewy 
textures. Okay, I wasn't feeling full, so I'm gonna eat some avocados with seaweed like I did uh, two days ago because it was so delish with some soy sauce. So good. I can't get over it. It's so simple. Like, so, so simple, but so damn delicious. Okay, so I only had sweet potato and almond milk for dinner today, so I'm starving. So I'm gonna have a snack, a late night snack. This is bad because I've just been making it a habit to eat late night snacks after I got home from radio, which is something that I don't usually do, but just have been eating a lot more now that you know, I'm vegan. Well, not really vegan, I'm trying it out. I'm testing the waters, but um, yeah, so I originally bought the flour this morning to make kimchi pancakes, but I just went with banana pancakes instead. So I'm gonna try making it right now. All right, so I have my kimchi here. Okay, one cup equals 236. Okay, I'm gonna add this. Don't know what I'm doing. Half a cup of water. And I'm gonna mix it all together. I was craving kimchi pancake today because it was raining. I feel like it's like a little runnier than it's supposed to be. Again, why do my pancake batters always end up so runny? It's like a deja vu of what happened this morning. But why am I deciding to have fried food so late at night? gosh I'm so proud of myself for making kimchi pancake well I'm gonna have to try it out to see how it tastes but I made myself some sauce as well with some soy sauce uh, vinegar and olive oil I mean sesame oil Oh my god, I need some makgeolli right now. Some rice wine, dude. Oh, it's so spicy, but so good. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna be bloated tomorrow from all the sodium from kimchi, but I'm so happy. Of course, it's not as crunchy as the ones they sell in restaurants, but I'm still satisfied. Wish I had makgeolli right now. And some friends to eat this with. That was really, really spicy, but delish. I feel like my stomach is going a little crazy right now. Anyways, I have some batch left over, but I am way too full. I cannot finish it right now, so I'm just gonna wrap it up and maybe eat it tomorrow. Going to another color hit class. I'm scared. And I also bought back my containers from Sprout. Yeah, we returned them so they can reuse it. And it was a lot of plastic, so I have this full bag of all the containers. I don't wanna make you cry, but I ain't coming back now, fade into the background. I still wanna be there. I got to believe in Will you should be fair? I don't have a lot of time to um, eat today because I have to get ready quickly and leave the house um, So I got delivery from Salad Eat And I order from here often because they're super quick um, Even before the vegan challenge happened When I wanted to eat salad or wraps, I would order from here because they would deliver in like 20 minutes I got my green juice and I got a warm wrap. This has plant-based meat in it and it's my first time actually trying it from here. Yum, this looks good. This is what it looks like. Mm. The meat tastes like pierogi. 
Salady is a chain restaurant and they have stores like all over Seoul. So just download the delivery app, hit that I mean joke, and you'll be able to find some around your area. some oatmeal with the oats I bought yesterday it's my first time making oatmeal so I was never a huge fan of oatmeal because I tried it once and I did not like it but today I'm gonna add some toppings like sweeter toppings to help me like it so hopefully it'll be better I looked up instructions and how to make it and I'm just gonna use the microwave because that's the easiest and the simplest right I'm adding half a cup of oatmeal one cup of water it's out of the microwave is it supposed to be this thick kind of like porridge I'm gonna be adding some chia seeds and some flax seeds and maple syrup and it looks like this why am I nervous about trying this? What if it's bad and I never want to have it again? It's very nutty. And it's pretty sweet because I put a lot of maple syrup in there. It'd be really good with banana, but I only have frozen ones right now. But it's a lot though, I don't know if I could finish it. I have this much left. But I don't think I can finish it because it's getting a little too greasy. Like it's, of course it's not greasy or oily at all, but it's just feeling greasy in my tummy and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna have to throw this out. On my way to Pilates, I'm running a little late and it's raining, but I made it. Chenzu <laughs> crew! You were the laughter early in the morning Down in the kitchen watching TV You were the music that led me to the six string And now it's been so long I made myself kimchi pancakes again because it's raining outside and I had the batch left over. I didn't eat a whole lot today because my day was kind of busy so making up for that with some kimchi pancakes. Oh you found her and now I know there's hope for me. 